historically, what has been the DNA or what a synergist has looked like that have brought us together? Not the fear guy, not the divide guy or gal from your, and maybe you say, I don't know, Pat, I, I, I don't know if I can think of anybody. But if there is a DNA of somebody that you've seen, say the audience is listening to this, and we have a lot of different types of audience that listens to this, entrepreneurs, investors, political people, athletes, those who watch our kind of content that we have. What has been the DNA of somebody that's brought America together? That's, I mean, it's a really interesting question. Um, you know, I think you can't understand the United States as it exists today unless you understand the American Civil War. You know, I'm endlessly fascinated by the American Civil War because it's such a it's such a point of departure from what the country was before to what it kind of becomes after it. And I think that when you study and, you know, as I've studied and like learned about the Civil War, um, the thing that kind of strikes me time and again is, you know, Lincoln's like vision of the country is a really it's a radical vision just in so much as it's it's a departure in many, many ways of what many people viewed the country as pre-Civil War. Um, you know, if you look at the primary historical test before the Civil War, the United States uh, are always referred to as these United States, right? Like they're a plural, the United, you know, these United States are these United States. And then it becomes after the Civil War, the United States, singular. Uh, and that is sort of a radically different vision of what this country was from its founding. So, you know, when he's sitting there in like 1861 and 1862 and the arm, you know, the, the Union Army is getting the snot beaten out of it by the Confederacy and things aren't looking too great. You know, the fact that he kind of holds that course, I think, is, you know, it's it's remarkable. And uh, and there are many moments if you want to play the alternate historian, you can go into the Civil War and see how, you know, maybe that one breaks differently. And, you know, the South is able to secede from the Union and we have a totally different country. So for someone who like brings the brings the nation together in the way that he's able to do it, there was there was no trend he was sort of following. I mean, he had the vision and, you know, against a lot of very difficult odds was kind of crap. It was, you know, weaving out of whole cloth what this country was kind of kind of wind up being in the 20th century. So if you like this little short clip from an interview I did, click over here to watch the entire interview and Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.